Hey there, and welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a pop-up on your ClickFunnels landing page. And I'll also show you how to integrate an autoresponder into that pop-up. So uh, in this specific example, I'm going to use an autoresponder called Active Campaign. However, there are many other autoresponders in the marketplace. You don't have to use Active Campaign. You can use many other autoresponders but in this specific example i will only use active campaign the process is the same it doesn't matter what type of autoresponder you're using the process of adding a pop-up and integrating an autoresponder into the into your pop-up is the same thing on click so just stay tuned with me and then i'll walk you through the steps right now i see you on my pc okay guys here we are on my click account we are going to go ahead and create a funnel and then add our pop-up on it. So if you click here on build a funnel, select the objective you like to go ahead with. You can either go with collecting emails, uh, sell your product, host a webinar. So in this case, we are collecting emails. So click here on choose. And I'm gonna name that. And I'm gonna click here on build funnel. An opt-in page has two steps. However, you can add more steps to your opt-in page. So at the moment, I have the opt-in form area and then I have the thank you. But if I want to add like an upsell on the thank you page, I can add, so I can add like an upsell for another product, but I'm just going to keep this basic. So I'm only going to use two steps. So here on the opt-in page, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and select the opt-in page I like. I'm going to select this page and I'll click here on edit page. Um, I'm first of all gonna change this um, image here. So I'll click there and click here. I'll just add, um, if I wanna get rid of this section, I can just click here on delete. We are, we are interested about a pop-up. So I'm going to delete these form fields. And I'm only gonna have uh, this area that says the ultimate guide to healthy eating, right? But first thing first, Let's create our pop-up. So we come up here. So come here on integrations and then you come down here to integrations and select the uh, where you want to integrate your, uh, your content. So I want to integrate my content with active campaign because that's my autoresponder. So I'll just click here on active campaign. Action, I will now click here on action. I'll add it to a list. So that's where I want my leads to go. I want my leads to go to a specific list so I can track it well. Now, list to add, I'll select a list, a coaching program one. Guys, don't worry, all these details I'm showing you here, I'm gonna show you how to, so I'm gonna show you how to create all of these on active campaign in a moment. I know it sounds confusing, but I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on my active campaign account. So I've now added everything to the list here, as you can see, right? So active campaign to a list coaching program, right? Now let's create a pop-up. Click here, come here on pop-up and click on show pop-up. I'm gonna add a row. And in this row, I'm gonna add a headline. I'm gonna add another row here. And another element, and it will be an input so if you type the input, that's the element I want to add here. So that's one element, one input, and I'm adding another row here. So I have a call to action here. Now on the input form here, as you can see down here, it says warning input type not set. So you click on that and then you it will say here on the right hand side input type, you need to select. I want the first field to be the first name. And the second one here, I want it to be email, right? So email address. So I'm gonna have first name as you can see here. And the second one, it says email. So basically that's what's gonna be asked. And everything is required by the way, just so you know, right? So just so you know, oh, sorry. 
the, the first name wasn't required because I didn't put it. So let me just have that required. Okay, first name is now going to be required. Um, and now I need to add a button. And in here, I'll add a button. Sorry. Okay, in this button, I'll just change the message. Yes, I want it. If I want to change the background color, I can change that, guys. I'm not going to spend time here to play around with the color, but you play around when you want to. Just now, I need to set the action. So click here on set action. And I want to set the action to submit order, submit form. That basically means when somebody opts into that page, it was, you know, it will submit the form, right? So after, so after you finish that bit, right? You, you, so you now need to come here to this button and click on that as well. And here, where it says click here to get access, you can change the message here again, guys, play around with that. And click on set action. Uh, the action is not gonna be on submit form. The action is going to be on open the pop-up. Make sure you click that, open the pop-up, and then make sure you save it. You now need to uh, preview. And once you click here, the pop-up will now come up, right? So you fill in your details and then you go ahead, right? Okay, guys, here we are on my Active Campaign account. If you don't yet have Active Campaign, I'm going to leave a link of Active Campaign in the description down below so you can try it right for 14 days for free. And then after that, if you like it, you can keep on using it. Um, I'm, I'll also leave a link of Click for Notes in the description so you can use it. So once you're on Active Campaign, we're going to create a list. So click here on list. And I'm going to add a list here. So click on add a list and I'll name this list. And then the URL, I'm going to paste my URL there. And I'll just put a basic description. I'll just say hello, right? But here you need to uh, describe why, why they're receiving an email from you, but most likely because they've opted into your page, right? So, I, so I'm just putting like a generic message here and clicking on add. Okay, so I have, I have my list here. It's called my free gift, right? And I need to create a form. So click here on site. And I'm going to create another, so I'm going to create a form now. So click here on forms and click on create a form. So I'll name my form and action here, I'll say select a list, subtract to list, right? Options, I'll select a list. My The list that we created earlier is my free gift. And I'll just click here on create. So this is basically, what my form is titled is, is, is titled the, the guide to copywriting and guys here I can just get rid of certain fields here if I don't need to uh, so I can also get rid of like the full name if I don't want the full name I can just get rid of that too if I like I only need the first name here by the way just so you know I'm going to need the first name and email Okay, here, I'm only going to need the first name, just so you know, and I'm going to get rid of the surname. So I need the first name and email. The message here, you can change the message. Come on, play, play on the message, change it. Um, yeah, subscribe for email updates, guys. Get rid of this message, you know. Write anything there. So get our free guide to copywriting, and that's, that's pretty much good, right? So I've got this. I've got first name, email, and submit button. Even the submit button, I can still like label it the way I want. So now I go to style. Really, guys, I'm not going to spend time playing around with the colors here. You, you you can play around with the colors when you want. Now let's go to options. On options here, where it says my free gift, you need to click here on opt-in options. And I'm going to select my opt-in option. It's going to be opt-in confirmation. No, I don't want that. Basically, op, op, basically opt-in confirmation is like when somebody opts into your page, right? You, you're gonna ask him, you're gonna send him an email to go, like an automatic email is gonna go to him and say, okay, do you wanna subscribe to this email? Uh, the, the subscriber, like this type of email is not necessary really because people don't need the second email to confirm, right? So just tick that off and just click here on save. And then once it's done, click here on integration. 
So you, you, you have many parts here, many ways that you can integrate it. Uh, you can use all these links and all this stuff, but we don't need that, right? So just click on save and exit. So guys, uh, that's basically how you create a form to integrate it, right? You to integrate it into your to integrate it into ClickFunnels. You just go go through the ways that we've done now. Uh, click here, click, click here on integrations. Go ahead and follow up the steps. Integrate. Make sure you know. Make sure you follow up the step that we did here. So we integrate it. You know, but. I was just doing this uh, this area just to show you how to create a list. So you create that list and then you integrate it into your ClickFunnels account. So when somebody, okay, let's just so now when so now when when somebody's um, opting into that form, they're going to receive the the free gift and the the credentials are going to go to to that specific list. So guys, that was all about how to create a pop up with ClickFunnels. Um, so guys, that was all about how to create a pop-up with ClickFunnels. So guys, that was all about how to create a pop-up on ClickFunnels and integrate it with Active Campaign. Thank you for watching. If you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below and I'll see you next time. Take care. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below. I'll be more than happy to answer. Um, if you need any help, uh, website or marketing related, you know, I'll leave a link of my calendar in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe my, to my YouTube channel. Uh, share this content with your mates. You know, somebody else might need it. Somebody else out there is definitely going to need this content. So keep on checking the channel. Keep on checking for my videos.